Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Madden 18. And let me preface this by saying I am going to, as you can see by the title, we are going to start playing head to head. So, I've decided that my master, relatively easy, if I can get back here, relatively easy, I'll make a crappy team and play the original solo a bunch. Um, I think it's just complete a, like three passes or complete a pass or something like that. And I'll just complete that a bunch to complete these because I think that's all you got to do. So I'll, I'll get those done near the end. Um, the 85 overall team. So I got that now, as you can see. Our team is 85. So this will get cleaned up. The 500 unique solos is going to take a little while. Uh, the 10 salary cap games. That's going to be interesting because I'll have to make a team for a salary cap. Um, 75 season games. We got two. We got two. We'll get the 75, but we got two. The squads. We got two in squads. Uh, sets. Team leader sequences. That's not bad. We'll get those knocked out as well. Team leader sets. Um, I've got one of those done. I've technically got three because I did the Patriots, but you'll get uh, these team leader sets done for free uh, by completing the sequences, so I'm not really worried about that. The daily objectives. I got to complete eight more of those. It's going to be uh, like a month or two. <laughs> At least before I win these 85, I guess it's 110 online games. Before I win 110 online games, it's going to be a while. Um, because like I've said before, and like I say all the time, I do not profess to be amazing at this game. Um, I, I like playing Madden, and that's about the extent. It's not a game that I have dedicated time to be really good at, like Call of Duty or any really first-person shooter. Um... It's just not something I've dedicated much time to, but I would like to say that I'm not as bad as I think I, like, like, I talk about myself as in, the, like, I'm not very good, but I, I am not awful. I am not awful. We can go, I'll show you the season. So, I played actually four games. One didn't count. Um, so, you can see, I got a 0-6 to six loss where I fumbled three times, um, and I, I gave it, I made him kick two field goals. I gave it to him in positive territory. I made him kick two field goals, but I couldn't get anything going because he kept fumbling the football and he had chew clock on. So, you know, when you fumble the ball three times and you punt on your first possession, you run out of possessions. So that's what happened in that game. Uh, the game that didn't count was a loss. Um, I fumbled four times in that game. I lost 24 to 20. Um, and I fumbled four times in that game. Um... I got the weird, like, glitchy fumble, um, where your guy, like, doesn't actually catch it, but he, like, barely touches it, and then it says it's a fumble. I got that, like, twice, and Barry fumbled twice, and I was just, like, that game, though, I had, like, a pick six and something else. That's the only reason it kept it close. He blocked an extra point. That's why it was 24 to 20. Uh, 26 to nothing. That was just a brutal win. Um, I think I got him to quit pretty early. Uh, and then... The 24 to 20 win, it should have been like 38 to 20, but I fumbled. I fumbled twice, two or three times. I don't know, two or three times. I gave up a pick. Um, I threw a bad pick. Um, I know Randy fumbled when I was going in to score. I don't know. It was just awful. Um, but I, I came out with the win. I think I had like three interceptions. That's the only reason I won. Uh, but let's get into the team. What I wanted to say is I'm going to start playing head to heads online on the weekends. Uh, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. It's when I get the most time. It's when all the sweaties are playing the weekend league, which I literally have no interest in playing. So I will be playing my seasons um, during the weekend. It, 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 not only do I avoid the, the, the guys that are good at the game trying hard, which I have no problem with, not only do I avoid them, but I get to, it's it's really the only time I have a lot of time to sit down and play a full game. Like I can get on and play like three solo challenges and then I might have to get off. Uh, which it really isn't enough time to play a head-to-head -head game if it goes the full distance. So, yeah. So that's what I'm. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna start having head-to-head -head content on my channel. It'll be up on the weekends or it'll be up on Mondays and Tuesdays. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be full games or what. Uh, not sure yet. Like I said, I have college and it's a it's a bitch this semester. Uh, to, I don't have a better term for it. Uh, it really is a semester. I've got micro or macroeconomics. I got accounting. Uh, I have a far, hard physical geography class, 
uh, and I have a writing class. It's just, it's just a really hard semester at college, so I don't know if I have time to edit full gameplay, so you might just get the full unedited versions of the games, so probably like a half hour or less, depending on if the person rage quits. Uh, so that's how that goes. My goal is probably just to get like two wins a day starting next week. Um, it's two wins a day. I'll get up early on Saturdays before college football and play them. Uh, maybe I'll get four wins on Friday because I don't know if I'll play on Sundays with DFS and all of that stuff happening. But I've rambled on for long enough. Let's get into the team. 85 overall. There's a couple upgrades that I still have in mind, but uh, this is generally going to be the team. So Jason Peters uh, bought him for the left tackle. We got Justin Pugh, uh, Greg Manx. Uh, Larry Warford and Morgan Moses. So we had Nate Solder over here and we had Rob Havenstein before, but um, all we had to do is get the uh, go deep over here and we didn't need go deep here. And that was how we got Morgan Moses there. One of the possible upgrades is at right guard. Uh, the 86 Larry Warford is about 60K and the 87 TJ Lang is 70K. And then whoever is the right guard for the Packers, I forget his name, uh, he is like 80k. So they're all like an option that I'm thinking about picking up there. I would have to then get the Christian Okoye uh, fullback 83 that's the go deep chemistry. So that's the only thing. Kind of, It'd be like 100k to make the upgrade. Um, so that's kind of the only thing holding me off from doing that. Larry Allen, the 75, is just the backup here. Um, you don't really need a backup. I just like having him there. Uh, and then we have Zach Ertz playing tight end. We have the Charles Clay, the non octable tradable gold, and Jalston Fowler. Uh, so I'm happy with those, uh, with my tight ends. Uh, may upgrade the Charles Clay eventually here, but there's no real need. Don't need to upgrade the Ertz in 85. Pretty good for this point in the game. Quarterback, I got my Brady up to an 88, uh, 87, but then with the... Uh, with the Patriots boost, it gets him to an 88 because I don't have the, I don't think I have the move the chains come. No, I don't have the move the chains come. So it is the Patriots come that's getting him there, uh, which gives him pl plus two awareness and plus two play recognition. And so he's up to an 88. Christian Okoye, I already went over him. He's at fullback. Fowler backing him up. Uh, Barry Sanders, uh, James White, and Fowler again are my halfbacks. Barry, Barry's been fumbling the ball a lot. <laughs> It's kind of pissing me off, but uh, he's still a really good back, and I'm not buying another back when I have 87 overall, Barry Sanders, so it, we, we, we're, we're stuck together. I'm stuck with Barry. He's stuck on my team. Just can't sell him, so we're stuck together. Uh, Randy, uh, he is the number one wide receiver. Had a little bit of issues with him. Not anything crazy, but I ha have had a little bit of issues here and there with Randy, but n nothing crazy, nothing to make me get rid of, not, nothing to make me dead to bench him or anything, but he's been a stud, but he has like these awful moments for me, so uh, that's the only thing. Brandon Cooks bought him, traded out Eric Berry, you'll see, um, for Brandon Cooks, um, so he is not a star. I needed him for the Patriots chem anyway, and so it just worked out perfect. I wanted to get Brandon Cooks. Uh, and it gives me two speedy wide receivers in Cooks and Tyreek Hill. And so that's really that's really the biggest thing for me that I'm happy about is that I, I get both Tyreek Hill and Brandon Cooks with 89 and 90 speed. And then I also have 90 speed. Randy Moss is also 90 speed, so we also have him. Um, so we've got we, nobody running routes for me in the wide receiver position is slower than 89. Uh, out of my starting three and most of the time I'm in three wide sets uh, rarely does Calvin get on the field um, I like to run the play action uh, I can't remember what the name of the play is uh, it's the play action where it's the three that come across the middle um, and it's Moss closest then it's Hill and then it's Cooks I believe and I really like that play um, Moss is usually always open and then it's just a matter if I want to take a shot to Hill or Cooks uh, and so that's that's one of my favorite plays to run. I like to pound the ball, so my play action is usually set up a lot. Uh, Julio Jones is the fifth wide receiver. Um, I don't know, nothing big there. I would love to get the Tyreek Hill, the the, the football outsiders one. Uh, I haven't looked. I'll take a look at his price here before we end the video, but I would really like to get him on my team. Um, I think it would really solidify because I am in a lot of three wide receiver sets, so three wide receivers are on the field a lot, so I... I feel like I can pay up for three wide receivers, and that's the card that I want is that 84 overall Tyreek Hill. Uh, we know we're going to get an 80, 
I would guess like an 84 Kareem Hunt, maybe a little bit lower, maybe an 82. We're going to get a Kareem Hunt, so we're not going to get a Tyree Hill probably, even though he had a pretty good game um, against my Patriots. So I think the 84 is kind of locked in as his best card for a while. But on defense, I, I tried to sell Devin McCourty. Okay, I tried to sell him and use HaHa -Ha Clinton Dix, but he wouldn't sell. I tried to sell him for like 250 and no one would buy him. So Devin McCourty is staying on the team. I wish he had an upgrade set because I would just do it. But no one would buy him, so he's stuck on the team with us. He's, he's almost non-auctionable and tradable at this point. But I love Devin McCourty, one of my favorite players, so I'm not completely upset. But it is 200,000, or it's like 300,000 coins because that's what he goes for. It's like 300,000 coins that I don't have. So that's the only thing that annoys me is I could probably upgrade the team in other spots, but... It's whatever. Uh, Telvin Smith, probably my favorite defensive card that I have. He just plays amazing. Uh, by far the best card that's been playing for me on defense. Also getting that nice boost to an 88 overall. I almost thought about getting um, the Jaguars chemistry up. Um, I just need one more player, and he would get plus one awareness and plus one play rec. Um, I don't really know exactly if there are any Jags that would really fit fit i guess prince of mukamara i know prince of mukamara is, is he on the bears now he's on the bears now so never mind um yeah the jalen ramsey i guess but it's kind of it's kind of iffy in that territory uh on what jag i want in this whole area here um because there's not really there's not really a jag on offense. I guess I could get Allen Robinson, but I don't want to get rid of Tyreek Hill. So I guess it would have to be an offensive lineman. If I could find an offensive lineman Jaguar that's go deep chemistry, that would work out. Um, that would be the one kind of thing. I guess we can go look. Hold on. We'll look real quick. This video is going to be long anyway because I, I rambled on for the first five minutes. We might as well ramble on now. Uh, so I need... Let's just go elite because there's not really any other. It had to be go deep and it had to be offensive line. Oh, Jeremy Parnell. And it's got to be Jaguars. Okay, there are no elite go deep Jaguars. Really? Zero. What about blanket coverage? Just Malik Jack. Oh, oh, my boy. Oh, man, bro. That's This is the card that I want more than any card in the game right now is this AJ Boye. Oh, my. Oh, dude. He. Oh, my gosh. He fits in so well. You're killing me, game. I want this AJ Boye so bad. It's the card that I. It's the only card right now that I want. Like, I, I can upgrade my team in other aspects, but this AJ Boye, that's the card that I want. Like, I, I badly want that AJ Boye, but it is so expensive. Uh, so I can't even get a Jags, unless the Jags have a kicker. I don't even know who the Jags kicker is. Who is the Jags kicker? It had to be the Jags kicker, because I'm not bagging Steven Goskowski. Oh, 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 but Jason Myers is expensive. Yeah, I'm not paying that. <laughs> not paying that for the chemistry boost that's not even worth all that much hell no hell no unless Gostowski I would buy actually I'd have to buy Jason Myers because I don't have an elite punter so that just that just puts the kibosh on that we'll just we'll just wait on AJ Boye we'll just wait on AJ Boye <laughs> Okay, so back to the defense so we got Ray Lewis and Michael Singletary holding down the middle Singletary getting that uh that bo the uh, blanket coverage bonus boosts him up to an 84. Nigel Bradham, the non auctionable tradable elite. Um, yeah, I love this card. It's got great zone coverage, all that different stuff. I play my linebackers. I don't blitz my like. Uh, I don't blitz my linebackers a lot. I play a lot of zone with them, so they got to be able to play man and zone decently well. So these two get it done for me, Telvin Smith and Bradham. Uh, so I'm happy about that. Got got uh, Ray Lewis boosted up to an 87 as well. Uh, the Patrick Chung here is just a placeholder. Um, I'm going to get the 86 Patrick Chung. Um, I 
he's going to be my choice. Now, will he be the starting strong safety? That's a whole nother story. Um, I would love next week, whatever non-auctional tradable 85 plus, I, I really want it to be Landon Collins or uh, Cam Chancellor, even when I get this 86 Chung. I still want... I still want those two cards. It, the ranking of cards that I want right now is A.J. Boye, and then it's about A.J. Boye for the next 10, and then it's Landon Collins, Cam Chancellor. Uh, those are, like, the only cards left that I really, like, need on my team to make my team feel good to me. Um, not good, but to make my team feel, I don't know, spe my team where I wouldn't buy a card forever. If I could get A.J. Boye out of that 90, the 85-plus free non auctionable tradable elite, that would be the dream come true. Uh, not holding my breath for that, but uh, the defensive line, John Abraham, gives me nice speed on the edge uh, with his 83 speed. And then Daniel Hunter, I'll just compare him right here. Daniel Hunter on the other side gives me 81 speed. They've got good block shedding and power moves uh, and finesse move uh, for Daniel Hunter. He's got both. Uh, Abraham really just power moves, but they, they both play pretty well. They've got good acceleration too, so uh, really good off air defensive lineman uh, for me. And then I have Sharif Floyd and Malik Jackson manning the middle with Trey Flowers backing up everywhere on the line. Uh, but Sharif Floyd, really the guy who sees the field the most. He's got 69 speed compared to Malik Jackson 70. Um, Sharif Floyd being boosted a bit by the uh, getting bo well, I don't know what he's getting boosted by. Is he getting do I have enough Vikings on my team? I don't think so. I don't know what he's getting boosted by, but uh, it might be... Oh, that's probably just the... Might just be the the uh, the, the blanket coverage. Uh, but Malik Jackson was the starter uh, with Timmy Jernigan, but the Sheree Floyd was like 20K, so I was like, yeah, why not just get that and upgrade from an 81 to an 84 overall in the D-line? Uh, corners, Darius Slay... Uh, I love Darius Slay. He's played really well for me. People don't even throw at him. He covers that well. Um, most people are picking on Hargrave and Gilmore when they play me, or they pick on, like, the safety that I have playing. Like, Chung played a lot of man for me in those games I played online uh, last night and today. And so people picked on him a lot, which is understandable. Uh, not many people pick on Gilmore, but they pick on him way more than Slay. I think, I don't know. I don't know if Slay even defended a pass for me in the last two games I played. That's how good he's played. Uh, and then Vernon Hargraves has played pretty well, too. He gets a little caught up uh, with the crossing patterns in the middle. He has a little bit of trouble covering those. Uh, but if you just, if I, I'm not very good at usering, but I can kind of help user him through that and user some, uh, a linebacker to help out. Uh, I don't user a lot of linebackers because half the time I just screw it up. So it's better if I just let the computer do it. And then Champ, Champ returns back to the lineup. He was... Um, he was kind of like benched and not participating on the team, but now he's, he's back, he's back, he's back in the lineup, uh, and I'm going to give him a go, see how he plays. I don't come out, I used to come out in a lot of four corner sets, like a lot, but not anymore. I play a little bit more uh, three corner sets. Uh, this doesn't really matter. Ryan Allen is there for the chemistry. Uh, none of this really matters. My kick return is Tyreek Hill, John Ross, Teddy Ginn, and Champ Bailey. Uh, the Ted Ginn is the Mutt Rewards for your packs you've opened this year. I was uh, gold, all pro, so I got the gold one. Uh, you got an 82 Elite if you were a uh, uh, legend, but you had to open up 1,000 packs. That's a lot of packs. I feel like I've opened a lot of packs and spent a lot of money to only have 600 packs open, so that's kind of crazy. But we'll take one look. We'll take one little peek here at how much the 84 overall Tyree kill is going for because... If I'm going to play online, that card probably should... I should probably invest. I've got enough coins. I probably should just buy the AJ Boye and just suck it up and buy the AJ Boye, but I haven't. What chem is Alan Robinson? Oh, he's the smash. The ground and pound or whatever. Okay. Uh, Chiefs. And then... Sort by 8485. Okay, so he's 145. So I would dip just under a million coins to get him. Uh, compare the stats. So up one speed, up three catch, up four elusive, up four spec catch, up four release. 
up four route running, up five catching traffic, and up two jumping. Okay, let me compare him to the Cooks. Okay, he just beats Cooks since... Oh, that jumping is... That jumping is clean from Tyreek Hill. Am I... Ah... Uh, know that Tyreek Hill will be on my team. I don't know if I'm going to buy that. Like I said, I want to get the AJ Boye. I'm going to sell all my silvers, so that might open up the door for me to actually buy AJ Boye. Uh, I decided I'm not trying to get that Khalil Mack in the Odell. By the time I would get them done, here was my thought process. By the time I'd get them done, I don't think they would be the same value that they are now. So I don't think it would be worth it. I think I would end up spending a shade over t 2 mil because I get sick of the solos before I'd actually finish up. Shade over 2 mil. Um, I'll show you now what they're selling for. Uh, I'm going to end up caving and buying the AJ Boye. Let me just tell you that. That's going to happen here eventually. I'm going to cave and I'm going to buy the AJ Boye. Uh, so we'll go buy it now. And program. What are they considered? They considered a team leader? Oh, they're considered master. But that's not an option. Okay, well, let's do it this way. Fine. Okay, so the Odell Beckham's not even up anymore. There were three Odells up yesterday for like $3.5 million a piece. None of them sold, I don't think. There's a Mac up now for three, four. So he's not going to sell, probably. They're probably approximately worth 2 million coins. But if you want to make any coins, you got to sell them for like three or like two, five, two, four. If you really want to make some serious coins off of doing them. For me, it's not worth it. I'll get the 86 Chung. I'll nail the ones I need to get out from Mupmaster. Uh, and, and that's about it. But guys, I decided I do want to do Mupmaster. So we are going to have to do some online head to head. So you guys will get to see that. Uh, and so, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Long episode going over the team. But like I said, expect to see AJ Boye um, and probably expect to see that Tyree kill. That's 700k between them. It's a, it's a lot. It's a lot. But I really want that AJ Boye. Like, a lot. I really do. Like, I crazy want the AJ Boye. It's kind of stupid how much I want this card. It's not even like, it's, it's a really good card, but it's not like it's crazy good. Uh, so, I don't know. But pairing him slay up on the outside and then putting Stefan Gilmore in the inside and Hargraves at the three... Ooh, that team would be nice, but I'd be sitting at like 500k coins. I'm going to sell my silvers. We'll see how I sit. And then before, maybe I'll update the team again if I buy AJ Boye. But yeah, that's that's it. I wanted to, you know, guys, I wanted to tell you that we're going to be playing head-to-heads online. I will have gameplay next week. Uh, probably won't have any this weekend, but but next week. And uh, AJ, AJ Boye probably going to be on the team. And probably that 84 Tyree kill. So, yeah. That's going to do it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop the video like he did. Subscribe if you haven't. Sorry for the long video for just a team update. But it, it there was some stuff to talk about here. And I wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be playing head-to-head. Because -head people have been asking. Uh, and so, yeah. Let me shut up and get out of here. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.